What's up you guys? Welcome to my first apartment hunting vlog in New York City. I'm so stoked to be able to say that and to be able to share it with you and to actually be at this point that I've dreamed of my whole life. I haven't dreamt of the whole like apartment hunting process but I've dreamt of the living in a nice apartment that's perfect and has amenities and is affordable. It also is not gonna happen, but we're gonna do our best. So if you haven't seen my last vlog where I did kind of an update announcing that I'm moving to New York, talking about what I'm doing here, what is going on, all of that, definitely go check that out. I'll put it in a card. But if you're just stumbling on this and you don't even know who the hell I am, my name's Christy and I'm a YouTuber. That's about it. I'm not a grad student anymore because I just finished my master's and I just flew from Europe yesterday. I spent the last month in Geneva. Now I'm here and moving to New York. Definitely subscribe for more if you want to follow my life in New York. If you want to see all the rest of the vlogs I made for the past like freaking almost 10 years I've been on YouTube, you got a lot of catching up to do. I'm going to be documenting my whole apartment searching process, moving process, um, just life in general process. I'm pretty sure that I want to be in Brooklyn. I really like Brooklyn. From research I've done, people I've talked to, my sister used to live in Brooklyn for a long time. In Manhattan, things are just so small and you're paying so much. Um, I mean, I might end up in Manhattan if I find something really good, but at this point I'm focusing on Brooklyn. Housing market moves really fast here, so you might find something and it'll be gone the next day. Find something, you call the agent, you get a tour, and then you apply, like that would be amazing. I have like a short list of places that are still available that I've liked that I'm gonna go look at. Michelle Reed actually did one recently that was super helpful, so I'll link that down below. People will sit down after they've like looked at apartments and just talk through each one, but I'm gonna kind of like take you with me on the process, so this is just the intro. I haven't seen any apartments yet. I'm in an Airbnb in Brooklyn right now. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed because I already fell in love with a couple places that were available like two days ago and now they're not. A couple apps I have downloaded, I have like, I have Zillow, which is the pretty basic one. I'm doing a lot of this online. Street Easy is a really good one for New York, I've heard. I put like my price range, my location, ideal, you know, certain things. I'm looking for a studio and maybe a one bedroom if it's affordable. I am looking to live by myself. I'm also really cheap, so. I've never done this. Like I, I've never toured apartments because when I moved into my last apartment, actually even when I moved into my house in college, like I hadn't even been there before I agreed to live there, so. This is the first for me. I'm about to go to an open house tonight. I'm actually gonna call them right now and just confirm that it's still happening because I saw on Zillow that I had an open house today. This one is like a little more expensive than I wanted, but it is a one bedroom and it has exposed brick, which like, I know that's just like a minor detail, but it's always been my dream to live in New York with an exposed brick apartment, okay? So basic things I want. I want a full kitchen. That's the thing about Manhattan too. There were so many places where like, they didn't even have a full kitchen. Like they didn't, they had a mini fridge. I was like, what? I found places where it was like super affordable, really nice looking, but the bathroom was in the hallway. And I'm like, I don't wanna live somewhere for like a year with a shared bathroom, personally. Disclaimer, honestly, I just feel like people can just sound super spoiled and picky, like pretentious and stuck up in these videos because people are picky about where they wanna live. Um, so I'm not trying to sound like that, but I'm just being honest about like what I want for myself in an apartment, so. I'm sorry if it comes across that way, but I'm gonna try not to be. I wanna have my own private bathroom with a full kitchen, and I'd love to have a place, so those are like the necessities. <laughs> I would love to have a place with big windows and a lot of natural light because that just makes me feel like the happiest. Like I love natural light. I'd love to have a place with white walls for some reason. I just, I feel like it makes it even more bright and just the good endorphins, like happy feeling in the room. How a room and environment makes you feel is so, so important. That's like my number one thing. And that's why it's important for me to actually go there and tour them. Just a light feeling, like I don't like dark paint. I could probably sacrifice them for other things if I had to, but this is my ideal. Love exposed brick if it's available because I think it's so, so beautiful and I just love the feeling of that. Space is something I'm a little more flexible on. I would like to have closet space because I have too many clothes. I would like to be able to fit my full size bed that I already have. I have my stuff in storage in DC. Nice to have air conditioning, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Nice to have utilities included, but again, I don't think that's gonna happen either. I would like to have laundry in the building. I really don't think I'm gonna find anything with laundry in the unit for what I wanna pay. I have an idea of the like neighborhood I wanna be in in Brooklyn. Like, very walkable to a metro station and easy to get in and out of the city. I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Probably wouldn't prefer the ground floor just cause I like to have my windows open a lot so people like walking by not like a make or break for me it's kind of cool to be able to look by myself and not with a roommate just because like i can choose whatever i want you know in within reason that i want to pay for i'm gonna call a place and we're gonna head to an open house hi i'm calling about a listing i saw that has an open house today and i wanted to check if that was still going on it's for 437 
Oh, you already filled it. Okay, thank you so much, bye. That's what I mean by the housing market moves fast. <laughs> it's already full, so this is just off to a good start. He suggested another one, um, so I'm gonna look it up. Lovely music. A lady just called me back from the one that didn't answer. Scheduled a tour of this place at 10 a.m. tomorrow. It's a different one. This one's actually a little cheaper than I was planning to pay, but it looks like a good location and it has a full kitchen and it's a one bedroom. I don't like fall in love with it from the pictures, but we'll see when I actually tour it tomorrow. Hello everyone, I'm drinking my coffee. It is the next morning. We are going to tour apartments today. I know I said we were going to yesterday, but then that didn't work because the open houses were no longer. That was lesson number one. Always call the day before to confirm. So three tours for today. I need to leave in about maybe 15 minutes. Talking to the realtor, She's like, okay, I'm sending you the disclosure form. I'm sending you the application too, but don't fill it out yet. You have to wait till you see the apartment. Be ready to pay um, this big fee if you wanna get it as soon as you tour it because we have 50 people looking at it tomorrow. And I was just like, okay, first of all, I really don't think you have 50 people looking at it. And I understand that realtors like need to push this sense of urgency on you to get you to sign for the apartments. But this is the first place I'm looking at and she's talking like I've already like fallen in love with it and need to have it before anyone else. And I'm not even like, I don't even expect to really love it. Three tours set up today. I have one at 10, one at 11.30, and one at two. I think I'm most excited to see the one at 11.30. It'll be nice to actually check out the surrounding areas and get a feel for the neighborhoods too. So, let's do it. Oh, nice view. <laughs> in there on my phone and I hope it was good um, but it was a different unit than the one that I saw online so it was like it wasn't really one bedroom it was a studio but when you walked in there was like separate rooms like down a hallway so it was kind of like choppy and it was like nice there's three closets now I have my next place I, I was only there for like 10 minutes I have like over an hour until my next one so I'm walking there now and I'm gonna just like go to a coffee shop in the meantime. So I stopped at this cute little coffee place. I think they have food too, the cocoa grinder. So I got cold brew with oat milk. Oh, there we go, focus. And I have like an hour. So I guess I'll just like watch YouTube videos. Okay, that one was definitely better. It was, I liked the location, like the neighborhood a little better. Actually one bedroom, white, good natural light. It wasn't that I like couldn't picture it, but it was just, it was hard just because it was like, it was vacant so there wasn't furniture, but it was also like 
dirty like the person had left stuff yet and hadn't had a chance to go in and clean yet so it was like kind of weird to picture it also there was no laundry in the building which is kind of a bummer but i came to this cute little park so that's nice the past two have been like okay but like not immediately like i need to have it it's really tricky because it's like maybe you won't get that feeling that you were like punched in the face like this is the perfect apartment for me that's like maybe a little too idealistic and then you might miss out on a really good option <sighs> still keeping it in mind i told him i would text him later this evening with a more definitive idea after i look at two more but yeah the search continues <laughs> I'm on my way to go see the third apartment of the day right now i have a really good feeling about this one the first two weren't even the same units that were in the pictures i really like this street i like this area a lot more I like how there's a big window in the kitchen too. Yeah, that's kind of nice to get the light in here. Yes. I love to cook. It does have a lot of light. Yeah. yeah. And then, so this is here so you can put the AC. Although, considering how hot it is out, it's not that hot. Yeah, that's so true, especially with the window. Yeah. Um, I think the one is on the right, which is mine. painted? When was it painted? Oh, it looks really nice. Cool. And here we are at the Brooklyn Museum, apparently. Okay, you guys, I really liked that one. And it just like felt so nice. I had such a good feeling in that apartment. I loved the surrounding area, just like the street walking up to it. It just felt way more comfortable and somewhere where I could see myself. There's laundry in the basement of that one. Kind of the ambiance I pictured and the feeling I pictured, it was a little small. There wasn't like a ton of closet or storage space. Close to Metro, easy to get around, cute coffee shops. And I'd say the main downside is just the space, but classic New York, overpaying for like a closet sized apartment. <laughs> Even though I was vlogging throughout the day, I wanted to just like a little sit down recap of the three places that I saw today. The first one I went to this morning, it was definitely the best price. My least favorite location, it was like a little further down than I wanted to be. Very broken up and like dark. Someone was still living there at the time, so like it was their stuff everywhere and how they had it set up and decorated and all that. I don't know, I'm kind of torn. Like what do you guys think is better for apartment hunting? Would you rather go into a place that has, you know, furniture is set up, you can see what it looks like and how the space is utilized with other people's stuff? Or would you rather it be completely empty, blank slate, clean, and then you can picture like how you would put your own stuff in it? So the pros were it was a good price. It was, it didn't have a broker's fee. It had like three big closets and tons of storage space, which was nice. It had like its own big kitchen and the bedroom was a decent size. So the cons were, just like the setup, how it was super like blocked off and wasn't like the greatest location. I didn't love the neighborhood that much. The second one I looked at was, it was kind of weird. Like you guys could see in the footage that like it had just random junk in it. I feel like that's really disrespectful as a tenant when you're moving out of a place to just leave random junk like a stereo in the bathtub. But he was like, oh yeah, yeah, like they're coming to clean it this week, whatever. I really liked how it was like very light and had big windows and it was a one bedroom so there's a little more space a big like walk-in kind of closet back in the corner the location was better it was pretty good it wasn't like the most ideal place but it was definitely better than the first one there was no laundry in this building which is something that i kind of really want <laughs> yeah i had a lot of really cute little brown stones around it the stove was kind of tiny and there wasn't really much counter space to speak of i think it had central ac the guy didn't seem to know much he wasn't like the most helpful broker the last place i went was that cute little tiny studio this one was definitely the best location i know i said it a couple times in the video when i was like walking there even from a further metro stop that i stopped off on it was the cutest little street walking down like i felt so at home and i think i said this too but this was just like the ambiance i was looking for like the bright 
white like pristine walls the tall ceilings that had a full kitchen i really liked the big window in the kitchen like i mentioned there's laundry in the basement and there was a little closet in the bathroom the downside to this one is honestly just the size and the space and the storage space like that closet is smaller than my last closet and i already have too many clothes for that so i would have to get creative just overall it's small so that is the main challenge with that place i am only one person and i don't have a real couch right now so like a corner little like couch thing with a little mini table maybe i don't know let me know what you guys think i'm not very good with like home decor if you guys know my last home had an inflatable couch so that was part one of my apartment search in new york in brooklyn let me know what you guys thought of the apartments i saw down below hopefully the footage i got was like half decent to show you what it was actually like definitely a good experience for me to just like walk around the neighborhoods and get a feel for what i like and don't like i had another one set up that i was supposed to go to it was like even deeper into the area of the first one i looked at where i already like didn't love that location it wasn't even on the market yet it was the, the one this guy like texted me wasn't obsessed with the look of it from pictures like the walls and the light and everything and realizing like what i wanted in the location more um i just texted him because he hadn't confirmed yet and i was just like hey um i don't think it's gonna work out and he was like no problem comment down below any thoughts you have on the ones i looked at any suggestions you have what you would do or ideas for like how you would use those rooms if i were to get one of those yeah it's kind of fun to look at places it's also like challenging and timing is super important too so it's kind of just a lot of luck so let me know if you have any advice subscribe to see the rest of my apartment tour to see where i end up moving the process of applying and all of this blah 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 um i love you guys so much thanks for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you made it to this point and I'll see you in my next one. Hopefully finding an apartment. <laughs>